Wait, can a vasectomy fail? Well, it's one of the most effective contraceptive methods, but let's dive into the facts about how and why a pregnancy can actually happen after someone has a vasectomy. So firstly, let's think about the short term. Right after you have a vasectomy, there are still some sperm in the tubes. That's why we recommend that you need to use another form of contraception until after you've had a semen analysis that's confirming that there is no more sperm in those tubes. Usually that's about eight to 12 weeks following the procedure. Now, if someone skips that follow-up test or they assume that they're already protected from pregnancy, that can be a common reason why they might have a failure of this type of contraception, aka someone falls pregnant within 8 to 12 weeks of having a vasectomy. Now, if you do wait until that follow-up appointment, according to the FSRH, the Faculty of Sexual and Reproductive Healthcare, the long-term failure of a vasectomy is actually around 1 in 2,000, assuming you had that test that confirmed there was no more sperm there. But that still means that there is a 1 in 2,000 chance that you could fall pregnant after a vasectomy, even if it's been many years later. So it's rare, but it can happen, and it can be due to something called recanalization, which is where the severed ends, the cut ends of the vas deferens, which is the part of the tube that carry the sperm, can actually reconnect spontaneously. And even though the procedure is permanent, the body can repair itself in rare cases. Alternatively, sometimes people actually come for a vasectomy reversal. Again, this is not 100% guaranteed, but you can have a surgical procedure that reattaches those tubes, thus allowing someone to have their vasectomy re reversed and have a planned pregnancy after having a vasectomy. So in summary, yes, in the short term, failure is usually due to lingering sperm, so you should always get that follow-up test. And in the long term, pregnancy after vasectomy is actually super rare. Overall, vasectomy remains one of our most reliable forms of contraception, but no method is 100%. It's also worth mentioning that a vasectomy actually carries a lower failure rate than female sterilization, so you're less likely to have an unplanned pregnancy, and having a vasectomy has less risks associated with the procedure than for the female sterilization process, which usually involves a laparoscopy, a keyhole operation. So have you been thinking about getting sterilized? Let me know below.